forgot how to do ASMR. Also, my headphones are being so loud today. But if I don't wear them, then I can't hear what you're hearing. <laughs> Why are they so squeaky? <laughs> hello, hello. Today, I want to do a, uh, uh, chatty ASMR. <laughs> Like we were supposed to do before. <laughs> um, and then my microphone, well, actually, probably nothing was wrong with it the whole time. <laughs> probably it was fine the whole time, and I'm just mm, dummy. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> happens, happens to the best of us. <laughs> Sleep deprived. I have been sleeping enough, I think, but I've been having bad dreams lately. <laughs> I need some good dreams sent my way. Because <laughs> sometimes when you have such a stressful dream, it doesn't feel very restful. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I have um, some of my favorite triggers today. <laughs> Like this. Oh, it's kind of loud. Bowl of ice. <laughs> we haven't played with the bowl of ice since um, the summer. <laughs> it's been a while. And, along with the bowl of ice, we also have the cubes. <laughs> These wooden cubes. It's like wooden cereal. Almost. <laughs> as well as the the usual ASMR fare that I always have. How many microphones do I have? It's a good question. <laughs> um, I have four microphones <laughs> total. <laughs> I have the old microphone that shall not be named because I don't like it. <laughs> have my normal streaming microphone, the SM7B, and the 3DO, and the, um, <laughs> the Zoom H1N, which, uh, goes along with the 3DO, <laughs> so that I can connect it to my computer. <laughs> Very different purposes, though. So it makes sense that I have so many. Well, except for the old one, which I always keep around as a backup mic. But I think maybe just having it sit around has deteriorated, and now it's not even suitable to be a backup.
think I need to turn my volume down. <laughs> Everything sounds too loud. <laughs> I know a lot of people listen to ASMR and Max volume, but... <laughs> For me, mm, I don't know. It can be overwhelming when you hear your own voice so loud. <laughs> changed it for you, at least. I don't think it should have changed for you. I should have only changed it for me. You can feel free to listen as loud or as quiet as you want. But that means I will do the same. like the headphones. Oh, these are terrible. <laughs> these are what I wear most of the time, these um, earbuds. I actually like them. <laughs> but they make my voice sound so sharp. Oh, I know I already have very sharp S's. <laughs> but the sibilance is, is crazy. <laughs> With these earbuds. So I hope that you are all listening to me with a uh, better quality earbuds <laughs> than these. <laughs> you wanna wear my creaky headphones? Now you can barely hear me. Can you even hear me at all? <laughs> Do you hear the creak? when I stream normally because they don't um, block any noise <laughs> and I like to be able to hear the stuff around me like the, my good headphones kind of block a lot of noise so like I wouldn't be able to hear um, clover and stuff <laughs> but 
the difference is really astounding. <laughs> And these zero buttons don't make any noise. <laughs> but the video itself is still a little creaky. Aren't you? <laughs> we have this week as well as pretty busy. We have um it's really hard to wrap my brain around it. I'm going to be a guest at a convention. <laughs> The weird is weird. <laughs> like why would why would they want me <laughs> as a guest? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm very grateful <laughs> to be able to go. <laughs> it is all anime NYC and it's all happening on Friday. <laughs> Hope to see some of you there. It'll be fun. Watching some of the myths and vibes um, to uh whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> convention appearances has been cool. <laughs> but thank you for cheering me on, thank you. <laughs> I will try to have comments. I'm sure it's going to be very fun, super fun. <laughs> I'm just excited to see you guys in person. I need to think of, um, I don't know. <laughs> like how Kiara always, um, has people do the wave. <laughs> I need to think of, um, what I should do. <laughs> I wanna play a prank on the saplings who come visit me. <laughs> I guess um, that's kind of what the plot of my <laughs> Yandere roleplay video was, wasn't it? <laughs> but I need to move this. Maybe. Do you think getting turned into a sapling is more than just a prank? <laughs> I think that's a pretty good prank. Actually, I don't think it's a prank at all. I think it's, um... It's just a good deal. <laughs> think about it. Saplings can live so much longer than humans can. <laughs> and it's a lot easier to care for saplings than it is to care for humans. <laughs> I just need sunlight and water and maybe some ASMR <laughs> to get that uh, carbon dioxide. <laughs>
don't know. I don't know. Is it warm where you are? Or is it cold? <laughs> Statistically, well, it's probably cold for you. <laughs> for most of you, it's probably colder. <laughs> but for some of you, it's probably Or even hot. <laughs> so maybe ice is not what you need. <laughs> it makes sense to have uh, cooling ice during the summer, but I don't know about during the fall. I think I need to move this. <laughs> Hold on, let me mute the microphone for a second. Wow. Hello. <laughs> um, I don't know if that helped. <laughs> ASMR is a little scope today. Mm. <laughs> There's not enough room in the closet. <laughs> My camera is like too close to me. <laughs> so it's making me look weird. <laughs> when I lean forward. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, let's try it again. <laughs> uh, I'll just whisper a secret code to you. And if you can hear it, <laughs> let me know. Alright, what was the secret code? <laughs> no one got the secret code. <laughs> French toast, that's a good guess. <laughs> but no, it was grapefruit. No one got it, so I don't think you could really hear <laughs> I think it's all in your imagination. <laughs> but I'm flattered that even even when I'm muted, you can hear me in your mind's eye. <laughs> I actually made French toast today. <laughs> More French toast. <laughs> I'm kind of addicted making french toast. I don't know. Something about it. I used to actually think that french toast was weird. <laughs> because it's um, it's like savory and sweet, right? <laughs> like I thought it was weird to have like eggs in a sweet dish, but <laughs> these days, um, I think sweet and savory is some of the best you can have. <laughs> Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Eggs are really common in a lot of sweets, like um, custard and stuff. <laughs> and it makes them custardy <laughs> and delicious. <laughs> Today my friend told that berries on top. It was really yummy. Although, actually, I don't remember if I told you, but the last time I made French toast, I accidentally cut my finger. <laughs> so 
the slime I was really careful when I was slicing the bread. I don't know, slicing stale bread seems kind of dangerous because it gets so hard and it's difficult to saw through it. <laughs> Why is stale bread? Yeah, that's like the whole point of French toast, is to use stale bread. <laughs> if you use French bread, it might get soggy. <laughs> but yeah, this time, I did not cut myself. But actually, I did hurt my finger yesterday. <laughs> when I was replacing the battery on the 3DO, it would not come out flat. <laughs> it really hard and it kind of sliced my finger. The same finger that I I, I sliced with the French toast too. <laughs> away, you know, because it feels quite wasteful, but some things like, even I don't know if you could donate them, because they're really, <laughs> uh, beyond use, you know, <laughs> I, w I wouldn't want to, to pin this on someone else, but like, <laughs> stuff like old pans, you know, <laughs> can they be recycled? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you know, I don't know. It's probably time to get a new pan. <laughs> I've had this pan for many years. <laughs> but it's not a quality pan. It was like a $15 pan.
melted and ground iron daggers with it. See, I think that's a little bit out of my, um, my skill set, personally. <laughs> I think that since it was such a, a cheap old pan, there's really no fate for it. <laughs> That's why it can be good to buy high quality things. Because <laughs> they last longer. I mean, this pan I've probably been using it longer than I should even. <laughs> I know, but I hate throwing things away. <laughs> Even when there's really no use for anything anymore. I don't like to throw things away. It just feels so wasteful. <laughs> like, I actually um, threw away some old sheets the other day. <laughs> I had some really tattered bed sheets that had like holes in them. <laughs> um, actually, because of because of Clover, they have holes in them. <laughs> because he tore holes in them. <laughs> but you know, they're like really old and I even thought like, well, what if I could find a use for this old fabric? <laughs> but I think it's just... <laughs> at some point, it's just beyond. <laughs> That's true, I could make cleaning rags out of it. But I already have cleaning rags. <laughs> I don't know. I know you can wash it, but... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess you could use it to clean your, like, counters and stuff. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just a thin sheet. <laughs> things away because then they just go to a landfill. <laughs> I like to use things for as long as possible, but <laughs> sometimes you really do have to let go. <laughs> yeah, and after the, if it's still, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if it's still in good condition, you can donate it. And that's what I normally do, but, or with like clothes especially. <laughs> um, cause some of my clothes like keep in good condition, but I don't know, like a tattered old sheet? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> full of old cables too. Mm, well, I throw them away if they're not um, functional. <laughs> but I do have a drawer full of miscellaneous cables. <laughs> you never know when you can use a spare ethernet cord. <laughs> Just because I don't, <laughs> I don't buy new things constantly <laughs> and throw away stuff constantly. That makes me a hoarder. <laughs> buy a new one.
I don't know. I don't know. If you guys are getting rid of all of your, <laughs> your perfectly good cables. <laughs> cable box and I located a spare audio cable <laughs> and swapped it out. <laughs> Easy as that, but it turns out the cable was working just fine, so <laughs> I still have an extra. <laughs> I didn't have it. Well, I don't know when I have had to buy a new cable, but then realized that oh, the cable was actually working all along. <laughs> yeah, the real key is keeping things organized. Like I said, I've been working on the really <laughs> doing a bit of um I guess like fall cleaning, winter cleaning. <laughs> I don't know. The one thing I feel like I do keep buying is like storage bins. <laughs> I mean, when you have a small space like a closet, it's very important to make good use of the space. <laughs> I can afford more, no! I mean, I do have like a bit of stuff. <laughs> but you'll be surprised. When you start streaming, there's a lot of stuff that you need to buy. Every, every ASMR trigger is like a new purchase, you know? <laughs> Gotta have a place to put that. <laughs> Do I save all the boxes for my stuff? No, I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I should because like... <laughs> it feels kind of bad when you have to move or something and you don't have a good box for something expensive but <laughs> I don't know I don't keep the boxes <laughs> is not very, very big. <laughs> I don't have a lot of space in general, so... I don't know, you gotta have some storage boxes. <laughs> That's where I like keep my um, seasonal clothes when it's not the appropriate season, you know. Or stuff like Christmas decorations. <laughs> Which, um, I'm actually going to put mine out soon, I think. <laughs> I, want, I have a little Christmas tree I want to put out. Order. 
just been bullied. <laughs> I think it's normal to keep stuff that you might need in the future. Like spare cables. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can live your life buying a new USB cable every time you need one. <laughs> every month I see your shopping history, I see those 10 USB cables you buy and throw away every month. And you say to yourself, oh I'm so organized because I never have spare cables lying around. <laughs> but I don't think that's the way to live. <laughs> No one actually does that. <laughs> I mean, I understand getting rid of extra cables if you really don't think you'll need them ever, but... <laughs> if you're buying a bunch of cables <laughs> repeatedly every month, I hope that you will... <laughs> you will learn. <laughs> but what if you break them every month? Was you breaking them or are they just bad cables? <laughs> into repeated USB cable buying only to throw them away at the end of every month. It's like that meme. Can someone please help me? <laughs> Balance my budget or my family is starving. Um, rent $800. Food $200. Utilities $180. USB cables $5,000. <laughs> please help. <laughs> USB cables. No. <laughs> okay, okay. stuff even if it's more expensive but <laughs> these earbuds I've actually been buying the same brand for years <laughs> because they're really cheap but they last like three years every time I buy them <laughs> I don't know I just have grown to like them at this point <laughs> Googling like best cheap earbuds <laughs> and I bought them. <laughs> um, I cannot say anything about the sound quality. Obviously it's much worse than my good headphones, but <laughs> I mean I don't really mind um for casual listening of things. <laughs> if I really want to listen to music or get some more, I'll get my good headphones out, but you know, when I'm just watching streams and stuff, it doesn't bother me. I'm 
bad ears. Like, <laughs> I've always had a little bit of trouble um, hearing some things. <laughs> I think my ears are not the best. <laughs> so you should not take my word for things. <laughs> I'm very far from an audio expert. <laughs> But I think maybe it's also part of my um, brain. <laughs> um, I'm one of those people who always like asks you to repeat what you said <laughs> because I didn't hear you the first time. <laughs> um, but then like <laughs> even before you finish repeating it, I like put together what you said so I understand. Like you only have to say the first word. <laughs> Yeah, and it's um, the same when I watch um, movies and TV shows, I have to watch with subtitles because I have a really hard time understanding what they're saying. I don't know what it is about movies, it's really hard to understand the, the dialogue. same as me. <laughs> I'm glad that we can all be the same. <laughs> we'll understand how it is. I mean, it feels bad when you have to ask someone to keep repeating themselves. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> Saplings don't have ears. That is the real reason why. I don't want you guys to hear better than me. It's not fair. You have to be the same. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Eventually, yeah, I do. You just give up and you just go, mm. <laughs> Even though you don't understand what they said, you just, you just nod and go, mm. <laughs> and go along with it. <laughs> oh, and sometimes that gets you in trouble, though. <laughs> And then they're like, wait, what? <laughs> this is why I live out in the middle of the forest. <laughs> so I don't have to talk to people. <laughs> Talking to people is stressful. <laughs> That's why actually I hate phone calls the most. <laughs> I think I've talked about it before, but Something about phones makes it really, really hard for me to understand what people are saying. And to get their, um, like their intentions across, I think because you can't see their face. <laughs> or like read their mouth, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's hard to know, like, how they're feeling over the phone. <laughs> yeah, lack of social cues. <laughs> I also, I don't like calling, you know, and you never know who's going to pick up on the other end. Like if you're calling you know, an office or something, you know. <laughs> you never know if they will be like a patient person <laughs> who doesn't mind if I ask them to repeat themselves. <laughs> or maybe I'll be there like... 50th caller of the day, and they're running low on patience. Personality tests. I think they're fun. <laughs> um, mine is 
INFJ. <laughs> what are your personality types? <laughs> well, I don't know them all that well. <laughs> well, you are the same as me. <laughs> always has most things <laughs> but it's, it's pretty fun to read about <laughs> exactly sorry introverts it's true there's not many extra words in the chat Understandable. I'm of course an introvert too, but that doesn't mean I don't love people. <laughs> and I actually, I get really lonely easily. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people get confused about introvert and extrovert. Um, they think that if you're introverted, it means that you hate hanging out with people. <laughs> but it's actually not the case. Um, it just means that you regain your energy by being alone rather than gaining your energy by being with other people. So yeah, I really love um, spending time with people and hanging out with my friends and stuff. <laughs> but it also means I need... <laughs> Sometimes I just need to be alone. <laughs> be like um, a mix of both <laughs> which I think most people are I mean if I never um, got to talk to other people I would be so sad <laughs> I definitely need to um, spend time with other people but definitely need a little time too Just leave a social gathering to recharge for an hour and then come back later. Yes, I've definitely done that. break to just like sit <laughs> and do nothing you know maybe like check my phone <laughs> for a little bit uh, and pretend that I'm just by myself <laughs> but it doesn't mean that I'm like having a bad time or whatever <laughs> You just need to sit in the quiet corner for a minute. <laughs> You've been called weird for sitting and doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I know I've definitely had people be like, oh, are you okay? <laughs> you know, but sometimes it just, that's just how it is. <laughs> I wish more people understood. <laughs> Are you sad? Oh my gosh, I get that one all the time. I think I have resting sad face. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And then you like feel bad because it's like, wait, I'm not sad. I'm having a good time. And then you're like, wait, am I actually sad? <laughs> and you even start to start guess second guessing yourself. <laughs> I 
every hour when people are like, you're, you've been quiet, and then you're like, wait, I've been quiet? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even realize. <laughs> definitely someone who has a really small presence. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of embarrassing. Oftentimes, <laughs> I like accidentally sneak up on people. <laughs> I'm, I think I have quiet footsteps. <laughs> I will like, I don't mean to, but I, <laughs> I will like go to say hi to someone and if they're like doing something, I'll like try to approach them, but then I like go to say hi and then they like scream <laughs> and I feel so bad <laughs> well, I don't know it's kind of funny though that people have such different like I don't know it's almost like an aura you know <laughs> I just have a quiet aura <laughs> I'm just a quiet person <laughs> so I even scare people when I try to say hi to them I'm not trying to sneak. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, maybe it means I would be a good, um, yeah, like a ninja or something. <laughs> I should be a rogue. <laughs> well, that's what I'm gonna play in Skyrim tomorrow, so maybe it's fitting. <laughs> I'd be a good assassin. I know, but I don't want to assassinate anyone. <laughs> I guess just knowing that I could do it. <laughs> oh no, I definitely could not. I definitely could not. <laughs> um, I can be in, um, in that game when you like try to put a sticky note on someone's back without them noticing. Maybe I can play that. <laughs> yeah, or a sneak hug. Sneak hug attack. Yeah, like that. 
be your skill. Maybe we'll try to do that. Doing all the factions. Wait, is the Thieves Guild different from the Dark Brotherhood? Are they like warring factions? <laughs> of the sneaky variety? <laughs> They're different. Oh, we'll have to, to figure it out which one we want them. <laughs> different, but not warring. Okay, the Thieves Guild does murder. <laughs> well, we will see. <laughs> I'll be tomorrow. <laughs> well, I do think I'm going to um, wrap up the ASMR stream for today, though. Um, thank you for listening. And if you are a member, there will be a members on Archive Karaoke tonight. In uh, four hours, I think. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry to say goodbye so fast, but I do need to, um, I have some things I want to do before the stream. But thank you as always for hanging out and for listening. This was um, a different ASMR from normal. Sometimes it's nice to like focus on the ASMR triggers and try to make it like super relaxing, but sometimes I just want to talk to the saplings too. <laughs> but thank you so much, and thank you for the super chats. Um, I will read them probably um after my Skyrim stream <laughs> tomorrow. That's my plan anyway. Thank <laughs> you.